Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3! Today, we're actually going to be starting on Duran's path. I'm, not, I'm actually not going to use Angela this time around, unlike the other two LPs where I used both characters for their relevant paths for the plot and all that. Mostly because, well, Angela doesn't really matter a whole lot on her path, but also because... Duran is basically a pure melee fighter, and Angela is a pure mage, so they don't really complement each other very well. So I'm going to go with Duran and build my party around him. What I'm going to be doing with Duran is I'm going to be making him into a duelist. So that way he gets the single targeting elemental sabers, he also gets dark saber, which can be good. But more importantly, he gets the best strength stat in the game, as well as the strongest full screen tech, or FST, in the game there. So we're going to go with that. And to help support him, we're going to be using Hawk once again. Not just for his high agility and luck stat, which helps with getting certain items later in the game, but also because I'm going to be making him into a Wanderer because he gets some very useful crowd control spells. They do take a bit more skill to use than, you know, just simply killing the enemies outright, but I still really like using them, and when he becomes a wanderer, he gets access to some of the most unique spells in the game. Buffs, debuffs, you name it. So I'm going to be using him that way instead of like a ninja like I did the other two times. And with Lise, I'm going to be using her as my third party member to become a Vanadis. Basically, the difference between that and the Star Lancer job class that I used earlier is that uh, she only gets single targeting buffs, not the multi-targeting ones. She doesn't get Marduk either, but she is a little stronger than the Star Lancer. And also, I have a special plan for using her with Duran since he's going to have the single targeting sabers. I don't really need to use the single targeting buffs or multi-targeting buffs from the Star Lancer. I'll go into more detail why that is later. But yeah, I'm also not going to be using Duran as a sword master because yeah, you get multi-targeting buffs or multi-targeting sabers with that as well as like leaf saber, moon saber and stuff. But I want to use the duelist for a specific reason when we get to that point later in the game. So this has all been very meticulously planned. But anyway, we get a little tutorial battle here, starting as Duran. Well, yeah, I've got the unique sprite. Of course I'm going to win. So basically, with Duran, you, when you attack with your sword, you basically want to hit the enemy with the tip of your sword. So you get a little more range than most of the other classes do. Even though, yeah, it's sword, but you can kind of keep your distance a little better. And you see how Duran raises his sword there? That's how you know he's ready to attack again. Another thing you could do is hold down the A button. And you see at the bottom there where it's AT. That basically means you're in auto battle mode. So you can attack a little more quickly that way. But you lose control of the character. So I can't do like I was doing before. Where every time I hit him, I backed away from him. So that way... I wouldn't take more damage so in general i prefer having direct control over my party members but you could use the auto battle thing there if it's a little tricky to hit the enemies for you i'd make a thor reference with loki there but i haven't actually seen any of the thor movies I've only seen, like, the first two Avengers movies. I haven't really seen... I don't know if I've seen any of the other... Well, I've seen a couple of the Iron Man movies, too, but I haven't seen any of the other stuff. I don't think. I forget. There's so many movies, I lose track of them all. So what are we doing here? Oh, yeah, I guess we're on guard duty or something. Sounds like a plan. You got a pretty big castle here. 
we're not going to be able to explore all of it, though. Same thing with uh, Angela's intro there. Oh, what's going on? You would think if you're on night duty, you got the graveyard shift all the time, I would think you would get used to that. Wow. Well, good. What's he doing? That's so horrible. Well, he's an emperor, so of course he's evil. Well, goodbye. I guess this is like a flashback or something. I forget if I said that before. Nuts. Well, took him out, so I guess he did his job. Well, yeah, that was the general idea. Well, what's going on? Did she faint or something? Yeah, for some reason, on the left side of the window there, for some reason, there's this, like, vertical line there or something with the emulation. I'm not sure why that is there. By the way, uh, on a related note, well, not on a related note, but, uh, yeah, I guess Simone had a illness or something that she didn't tell anyone about. But, yeah, I was thinking on a related note to the video quality, uh, if you have any suggestions for perhaps upgrading the sound quality, let me know. So, uh, a couple people were saying about how sometimes there's a little crackling in the sound. I didn't really notice it, but apparently some others did. So if there's any settings that I can use to improve that, let me know. But I think I'm using the same sound settings I did in the last LP with Lisa's Path going on? Oh, right. We were sleeping. Whoa! What's going on? What's that light? Let's take a look around. Whoa, what happened to these guys? What's going on here? Whoa, who's that guy? Well, we don't learn his name in Duran's intro, but if you watched Angela's intro, you would know that that was Corrin there. So, let's follow him and see what we can do. Guess they're getting... Altena is getting on with their invasion, huh? Okay, well, let's take him out. Whoa. What is this? Breath of Fire? Yeah, pretty much. I like how he moves around like that. What do you mean by that? There you are. Ha! Whoa! Man, he's way too fast. Okay, one more try. Third time's a charm. Or not. Ow! Whoa! I wish I could chain spells together like that. Well, actually, you can, but... Ah! Good! Good! Well, maybe we should, I don't know, get a character who has some silencing abilities. Silence, or the silence stat is really, really, really good in this game. But we don't get that usually until the late game. So you do have to earn it. There's other ways you can get it a little sooner, but they're pretty random. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Well, he didn't do a very good job spying. Uh, didn't they already do that? I mean, they kind of launched a preemptive strike. Hmm. 
Well, aren't the Knights of Gold supposed to be stronger than me? Oh, yeah, that could be a problem. So, yeah, if you didn't watch Angela's intro, they were basically just... Well, they're invading to get access to our monastone or something, but it's not in the castle. So, I don't know why they're invading here, but the monastone is actually quite a bit away from here. But I suppose if we had a whole bunch of sorceresses just walking around outside the town, yeah, that might draw a suspicion or something. Maybe they have guards over there or something, I don't know. I don't think we do. And of course, since we got our ass kicked, we're drowning our sorrows in beer. I don't think getting drunk is the best plan though, Duran. Well, that escalated quickly. Well, let's see what we can do here anyway. Yep, she's a crybaby. I don't care what she said. Okay, how's it going? Yeah, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. Let's see, is there anything on the wall there? No. Nothing I can read anyway. Hey, get over here. Bartender? Okay, you don't want to talk to me. Fine. Yeah, I kicked my ass. Are you going to come over here? Thank you. Oh, okay, that's it? Yeah, I suppose so. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. But anyway, before advancing the plot, well, let's take a walk around town. Some houses like this one, you can't quite see the entrance there, but, well, as you can see, it is there. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I thought they were saying, though, that that was, like, forbidden or something on Angela's intro. Hmm. Ow. Yeah, I suppose not. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. How do we get there? You're not gonna tell me, are you? Oh, well. It's probably not important. Let's see. Can I get anything here? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't think there's any barrels or anything that has free items for us in Duran's intro. But, we'll see. Ah, well, thank you. Anyone up here? Hey, how's it going? Oh, um, yeah, good for us. Uh, go team! Oh, okay. I'll do the best I can. But I don't want to become a knight. That's a terrible job class. There actually is a use for that. But I'll go over that when it becomes important. But for the most part, not really that good. His uh, light side job classes. Ah, oh, okay. Let's see, we got equipment shops, but I already have everything they could sell there. So, yeah, no real point in going there. Do something! Do something! Do something! Well, anyway, we got our house here, conveniently right next to the local armory. But, yeah, we can't go home yet, for whatever reason. Well, okay. Leave him alone. Looks more like a fox than a dog to me, but, well, these are 16-bit graphics. Oh yeah, they also have an item shop there where you can buy some candy or whatever you call it. There's no... Well, the house looks like it has a second floor, but it clearly does not. There are no stairs there. Okay, well, what do we got here? Oh, okay. Well, that's who we got to talk to in order to advance the plot. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Someone over here? Oh, right. That was the guy we talked to earlier who 
I don't know how they got all the way up here. I would think that if flowers are blooming, that would be good. Oh, that's how you get there. Okay. But yeah, I mean, if flowers are blooming, that means the ground is fertile, right? Let's see, there's some bookshelves here that you can read, but we can't do that right now for some reason. I don't know why. I know they talk about, like, the mana tree and job classes and things like that, but they don't let you read them in the intro. Seems rather oddly specific, but... Well, anyway, we gotta talk to the fortune teller here. Well, okay, my fortune wasn't doing too well last time. Well, you do have the best strength stat in the game, that's for sure. Well, you could, I don't know, go to the gym, work out, or, oh, or that. Oh. I don't think he actually does tell you about class changing. Maybe it's like the fortune teller in Duran's intro, or Angela's intro. And they're just trying to rip me off or something. Got any fortune cookies? I like fortune cookies. But anyway, okay, now that we're done here, now I think we can go home now, if I recall correctly. Yes, we can. All right. Let's see what we got around here. Do I have any items I could find here? No? No? Okay. Oh, thanks. I guess she's like half asleep or something. Stella! I, I don't even know what I'm referencing there, viewers. I think I asked that in my Final Fantasy V LP, but after all these years, I've forgotten again. <laughs> yeah, my memory, not my strong suit, I'm afraid. Oh well. Why do you think I make all these notes and do all these test runs for my LPs? So that way I don't forget, or if I do, I can fix it. But anyway, you don't really have anything in that chest there. like. It says you have your belongings, but I don't think there's anything there, is there? Let me check my inventory before I leave, if I can. Uh, game? Oh, yeah, we already said goodbye while they were sleeping. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, I think we got a round drop there from the chest. But anyway, okay, well, good, good. I'll go over more of how the controls work later, but uh, you press the X button to open your item inventory. There's other functions to the different buttons on the controller. I'm using a Super Nintendo controller myself. Well. Oh, okay. Yeah, weakest sword in the game, but it used to belong to your dad. Left it behind because, well, I had to kill the Dragon Emperor, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Oh, well, thanks, I guess. I haven't really done that much other than winning a sword fighting tournament, but other than that. Well, you're welcome. Let's see, there's a couple people who are out and about now that it's daytime. Yeah, one thing that makes, well, it's not really unique to Seiken Densetsu 3, but one thing that I like what they do in this game is, well, we have a day and night system. So now, I think it's almost daytime. Press the Y button, go into your inventory. You see where it says time in the lower right? That is a Wisp, the light elemental spirit, and that tells you that it's daytime. If it's nighttime, you'll see shade there instead. And the day of the week, that influences some things in the game. I'll go over that when we get to it. But for the most part, neither of those really matters a whole lot on Duran's path. It's more important, like, if you are going along Kevin's path. And if, or if you're using, like, Angela for her attack magic and stuff. Now, now we got all the soldiers here, but most of them just say the same thing and they're blocking access to other parts of the castle, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, wasn't that yesterday? 
Oh, okay. Well, I can't call you out because, well, I kind of fell asleep on the job, too. Maybe we should get some better guards or buy some notas. I'm an Excedrin man myself, I'll be honest with you viewers. Yeah, and I don't know what's going on on the left there with that uh, little graphical glitch there. Whenever I go into a room or something like that. Oh, well. I forget if I mentioned that before, but, well, it's there. Uh, Oh, yeah, I suppose we got to take him out instead of actually doing something that would be worthwhile and strengthening the defenses of the castle. But whatever works for you, Duran. But, okay, let's get out of here then. Yeah, most of the soldiers say the same thing, so I'm not going to talk to all of them. Just say, hey, go visit the king, or something or other. But anyway, okay, so now we need to get to Wendell somehow. We gotta figure out how to get there. And I think there's someone in town who knows that. They were saying something about taking the road to Wendell, or no, Maya. Something or other like that. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that's easy. Sounds like a plan. Let's get out of here, then. Now, continuing the tutorial, we got some random enemies here. So, let's take them out. Now, one thing you want to watch out for with these guys is that you can get poisoned by them. If that happens, like, relatively early, what you can do is you can leave the screen and come back, and that'll clear your statuses. Uh, where's the other enemy? Ah, there you are. Yeah, if you can't, if you haven't won a battle or cleared all the enemies on the screen yet, if you walk around a bit, that'll get them to spawn. They can't spawn directly on the screen. Now here we got this little spinning ring menu thing, and sometimes when you open up a chest, you get a random trap, or if you actually hit one of the OK icons there, you'll just get the treasure and that's it. You'll get it either way. The, tr the treasure from the chest, but obviously I'd rather not take damage if I don't have to. What's this hole for? Nuts. Well, yeah, we can't use that yet, but later on, we will. So, yeah, during the intros, your movement is kind of limited. Oh, well. Okay, but let's kill these guys now. By the way, in order to get enemies to respawn on a screen, if you've already won a battle there, you have to go at least two screens away from them. So, kind of like Final Fantasy XII in a way, I guess. Uh, don't get poisoned early. Okay, let's try that one again. Can I hit more than one? No, of course not. Alright, well, we got them anyway. They were almost dead anyway. So, let's see what we've got over here. More of them. Look more like bees than bugs to me, but whatever works for you. Nuts. Okay, let's uh, try to get them all lined up here. Single file! Yeah, look at that damage with all the range of the sword and everything like that. Yeah, of the weapons that we actually get in the game with any of the six characters... Duran's sword, ironically, has the most range. Because you got quite a wide swing radius with your sword. So that can really help you out a lot. And, uh, I forget if I said it earlier. Oh, well, hold on, I'll wait until after this. Why are you pausing briefly like that for dramatic emphasis? Do you have little money? Well, yeah, we don't have very much money. But whatever works for you, Duran. But anyway, yeah, there's that little... For some reason on the left side of the screen, there's that little graphical artifact or something there. That's always been that way as far as I can tell, but if you know anything about it, let me know, viewers. And also the sound, uh... 
again, I forget if I mentioned this today, but... Uh, some people were saying they heard a little crackling in the sound. I didn't really notice it that much, but if you have some suggestions to how to change the sound settings, let me know. There were a couple times when I was doing my test runs, and every now and then when I would swing my sword, I wouldn't hear the sound effect for hitting the enemy. I don't know why that was, but for the most part, it seems to have gone away. I don't know, maybe something was going on with my computer at the time. So yeah, all the intros here, they all, well not all of them, but most of them culminate in the same way, where you have some problem or whatever, you leave, and then you gotta go to Wendell. The only exception is Carly's path, because she actually is from Wendell. So that one will be a little different. You may want to check out the LP for that I made for Kevin's path there. I also had Carly there as well. But all right, so yeah, you took the cleft of the earth to get to Maya, take a boat, get to Jed, and hopefully we'll be able to find a way to get to Wendell from here. Oh, okay. Well, I'll keep an eye out for that. Okay, let's go. Oh. Oh, well, okay, good. I was going to say nuts, but yeah, they're not going to harm us or anything. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can't leave the town right now. Even if you try to do that, yeah, we got guards here. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if we can find a way to get out of here. You can go around town and find most of the other party members, except for Carly, of course. But, yeah, they're all just talking about their problems. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you're on Kevin's path, the day-night system, man, er, yeah, the day-night system matters a lot more because he can transform into a werewolf or something and he gets a lot more attack power that way. But yeah, for Duran, not so much of a problem, so. But anyway, like the guy was saying, in order to get out of here, you, it needs to be nighttime, so that way the guards lose their composure, something or other like that. So that's what we gotta do here. One of the nice things about the game is that when you rest up at an inn, you can t change whether it's day or night. In this case, I want it nighttime, so I can actually leave the village. But yeah, it, depending on what elemental day it is, well, I suppose it doesn't matter, but if it's morning already, you can choose to sleep to nighttime of the same day of the week. So let's save up here. Let's do that. Uh, let's, yeah, so if you choose to wake up in the morning, it'll switch to the next day of the week in the morning. Or if it's already nighttime to begin with, you can only rest until the morning. You can't rest until nighttime of the next day. So you'd have to rest until morning and then rest until night. So that could be a little bit pricey early in the game, but later on, not so much. But how are we going to get to Wendell from here anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.